Welcome to the 2020 Absolute Classics Festival. I want to take this chance to say a huge thank you to the Trust and Foundations sponsors and individuals who have helped to make these concerts happen. A special thanks this evening goes to the legal firm and Scottish estate agency Harper Robertson and Shannon who are based in Annan, Dumfries and Galloway and advise their clients locally and throughout the country. It's a great pleasure and we are over the moon to have their support this evening. You too can become a sponsor or supporter of Absolute Classics by checking out the description section below. Tonight's concert is given to us by the wonderful harpist Oliver Wass. It was only last year at the festival that Oliver came to perform and it really does give me great pleasure to welcome him back. He is wonderful and I know you're going to enjoy the concert. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hi there, my name is Oliver Wass and welcome to the 2020 Absolute Classics Festival live from my living room. Big thanks to Alex McQuiston and his team at Absolute Classics for putting these concerts on. Um, if you want to donate to them, there'll be a link in the video description below and you can also follow them on social media to be kept up to date with uh, the concerts they're putting on. I'm going to begin with some Manuel de Fire. Um, this is his Spanish dance number one from La Vida Breve or The Short Life. And this is an opera which tells the story of a beautiful young gypsy girl called Salud who falls in love with a man called Paco, who promises to marry her. But she finds out that he's actually engaged to marry another woman. And she's heartbroken by this. So against the advice of her mother, she finds out where his wedding party is going to be. And she goes and crashes it um, and confronts him in front of all his guests and pleads with him to take her back and to marry her. But he denies knowing her and heartbroken, she falls down dead at his feet. Thank you. 
move on now to two short pieces by Ravel. Um, the first is his Prelude, um, which was actually written as a sight reading test for the Paris Conservatoire. Um, and it's a really beautiful little piece. It, um, it, it really showcases Ravel's mastery of using harmony um, to, to colour a melody. It has this very simple melody um, which is then supported by these incredible, shimmering, changing harmonies underneath. Um, and the second is his Alamanière de Chabrier, um, which is a, a really gorgeous, charming pastiche in, in the style of Emmanuel Chabrier. I'm going to move on now to the first two movements from Benjamin Britten's Suite for Harp. Um, 
the first movement is an overture um, and it has these really crisp, sharp, dotted rhythms um, and it, it sounds almost like a Baroque overture or fanfare. Um, and the second movement is a fast and frenetic toccata which changes time signature nearly every bar.
<laughs> I'm going to go uh, back to back to Spain now um, with some music originally for the guitar um, by Francisco Tarrega. Um, it's his Recuerdos de la Alhambra. Um, and I really love this music because it, it transports me to a different place. Um, and this, this piece actually uses a, a very unusual technique on the harp. Um, so, so on the guitar, um, this involves a, a tremolo on the top string, um, which, is, which is on the end of the guitar, um, so there's, there's no string on the other side of it. But to do this tremolo on the harp is a bit more awkward because you have strings either side of the one you're playing. Um, so I'm using this this slightly unusual fingering with two, four, one. Um, so the hand's almost floating in midair rather than being solidly placed on strings like it usually would be. And the hand kind of floats above the strings and then the fingers just pluck the same string kind of out of thin air. Um, so it's an unusual technique, and um, it took me a long time to um, to get used to it and get it good. Um, but I think it was worth all the hard work because I really love playing this piece. I'm going to move on to my last piece now, um, which is the Carnival of Venice Variations by Wilhelm Posse. Um, Posse was a great harp virtuoso and he was alive at the same time as Liszt, um, the pianist, and the two men helped develop the, uh, the technique on their respective instruments uh, around the same time. So while Liszt was coming up with all these new techniques to torture student pianists with, Posse was doing the same thing for the harp. Um, and this piece is a, essentially a showcase of all those new techniques which Posse had come up with. Um, it's based on a theme which some of you may know, um, the Carnival of Venice. Etc. Uh, 
listen out for that. It comes approximately 600 times during the piece. Um, and uh, it's great fun to play. Um, and I will be very warm by the end of it.
Thanks so much for joining me um, and I will see you at the next one.